Hey, this is Chris Bono, and welcome to this series of Guitar Gym Workouts for Speed Picking. Every guitar hero that we've ever worshipped, from George Benson to Joe Satriani to Bumblefoot to Buckethead, whoever, they all have one thing in common no matter what their method was. They spent hours and hours in the shed getting their chops together. While there's no shortcuts, another thing all these guys have in common is something very important, and that is an organized workout schedule. They had to put together a schedule that incorporates the skills that they wanted to get better at, be it alternate picking, hammer-ons, pull-offs, speed picking, tapping, harmonics, triads, you name it. Somewhere down the line, they had to put it all down on paper, figure it out, slot out the time, and just get it done. I've been playing the guitar for almost 30 years, and 20 of those years I've been teaching from music store private lessons all the way up to group classes, all the way up to teaching five years at Berklee College of Music. Throughout all those years, I've been in my own shed. It's the only way I can get my chops to where I want them and the only way that I can keep them where I want them. Like everybody else, I've developed a series of workouts that work for me, but what I had to do was tweak those workouts for beginner level players, intermediate level players, advanced level, all kinds of guys, and that's what I organized here in Guitar Gym. You see, the challenge was coming up with workouts that spanned across all levels. And not only that, I have to span across styles. What's a good workout for a blues player and a rock player and a metal player? And what about the guy who's a beginner compared to the guy who's an intermediate level? Well, I put together a series of workouts that covers that, but not only does that, but it goes from one level to the next in a smooth and systematic way. After years and years of developing, tweaking, honing in on these lessons and giving them out to students all over the world, I got it down cold. I know what they're supposed to be, and I know they work. And I'm psyched to be able to share these series of workouts with you here in Guitar Gym. In the speed picking series of workouts, you'll find three levels. Within those three levels, there's three workouts at three different tempos. In level one, we'll play through 16th note sequences and focus on a concept called resting points. We'll start out at 60 beats per minute with a workout like this. Utilizing all six strings through multiple scales, we'll get all the way up to 120 beats per minute with workouts like this. In level two, it'll be time to introduce the must-know three note per string fingering. We're gonna do that with workouts starting at 65 beats per minute, something like this. You go through the three common patterns working all the way up to 125 beats per minute with a workout like this. In level three, the gloves are off. We're going to put the pedal to the metal and start really playing. We're going to start out at 70 beats per minute with a workout like this. You're going to burn through three pairs of scales from the big modal systems. It's going to get nuts. You're going to play all the way up to 130 beats per minute with a workout like this. With all the work that you have laid out in front of you, don't think I'm just going to walk away and have you do it by yourself. The cool part is I'm going to be with you every step of the way. When you're playing your workouts, you're going to see me playing the workout with you. No matter how much time I advise in the text for you to do it, I will be there every step of the way. So when you're playing for two minutes, three minutes, and four minutes, you'll be looking at me and you can watch how I'm playing to keep reference with everything and make sure that everything sounds the way it should. I've charted out every last workout. You'll have it in PDF form, Power Tab, and Guitar Pro. From there, you can change the tempo at will and practice it at any tempo that you want. Throughout Guitar Gym, you should be working with the metronome. Now, just in case you don't have one, I've provided a practice track for you that has the same click that you hear within the course. So at any time you're practicing and you don't have me around or you don't have the video on, you have this track to work with. I think we've talked enough about doing something. It's time to actually do it. So let's grab the guitar, let's get into the gym, and let's get to work. <laughs> 